Today I'll show you the fastest way to add lots of text in Affinity Publisher. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is make a text frame. So I'll get out the frame text tool, and then I'll click and drag to make a text frame. Next, we'll place a Word document into the text frame. We can do this by coming up to File, and then down to Place. I'll select this Word document from my computer, which you can download in the video description if you'd like to follow along. Right away, Affinity Publisher has placed the Word document into the text frame. But if your text isn't instantly added, all you need to do is click once in the text frame, and that will add the text. Next, we need to make more text frames, because Affinity is showing us this red eye. The red eye means that there's more text in the text frame than what's being shown. Luckily for us, Affinity has a really neat trick for adding more text frames. All you need to do is hold the Shift key on your keyboard, and then click on this red triangle. And just like that, we have text frames for all of the text. What we just did is called Autoflow, and it works by duplicating your page over and over again until there are enough text frames to show all of our text. But now that we have all of this text, how do we edit it? Well, all we need to do is click in any of the text frames, and then press Command A if you're on a Mac, or Control A if you're on a PC. Then, with all of the text selected, we can easily format it from the context toolbar. Then, click anywhere in the text so that all of it isn't highlighted anymore. Okay, things are going well, but I want to show you how to fix one last problem. Notice how the connection points on the text frames are red now? If we come down and click on the last text frame in our document, then we can see the dreaded red eye is back. That means we don't have enough text frames to show all of our text. That's because we made the text bigger, so now we need more text frames to fit this bigger text. And lucky for us, this is an easy fix. We just need to do another auto flow, which we can do by holding down Shift and then clicking on the red arrow. Once again, Affinity has duplicated our page over and over until there's enough text frames to fit all of our text. This autoflow technique is super fast to use and is my favorite way to add text in Affinity Publisher. This is just the beginning of what you can do in Affinity Publisher, and believe me, there is a lot more to dig into. If you want to learn even more, you can go ahead and check out my Affinity Publisher course, which I'll leave linked in the video description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.